Hello and welcome to Bike Channel Kenya. And today we are looking at a system which has improved motorbike safety significantly in the last three decades. The ABS in full anti-lock braking system. In a bike without ABS, when the rider squeezes the brakes hard enough, they end up locking the wheel. By locking I mean the tire isn't rotating, meaning it is skidding, and when a tire is skidding, control reduces significantly which more often than not ends up with the rider on the tarmac, unless they are really experienced. That locking up of the wheels is what ABS came to address, so let's look at how it works. In as simple terms as we can, in a bike with ABS, when you squeeze the lever very hard, instead of sending all that force to the disc, which might end up locking the tire, which is what you are preventing, the pressure is reduced, and how it is reduced I'll come back to in a minute. Now that we have reduced the pressure, it means that the tire won't lock up, and in so doing, we avoid a would be nasty situation. So, how does the system work? It uses sensors in the wheels, which are those things around the hub with curtains, which are used to sense a rapid decrease in speed of the wheels, which might end up locking it. When the sensors detect that, they send a signal to the modulator, which reduces the pressure going to the calipers. And the system is so good that it analyzes the info from the wheel sensors at a staggering 100 times per second. And if it detects any kind of funny behavior from the wheels, it reduces the pressure. And in so doing, the tires don't lock up, losing grip. If you have ridden a bike and felt a strange sensation when on the brakes, that is the BS in action. A friend of mine once came to the workshop and complained that his brand new bike had front brake problems. While well, in reality, it was just his ABS system saving him from a nasty situation. ABS has come a long way, and now the system is also available even when cornering, in what is being termed as cornering ABS. Although it is new and being used only on the iron bikes, we are sure it will trickle down to every bike in a couple of years. The cornering ABS works like regular ABS, only that it uses more sensors to know when one is cornering, like in angle sensors, pitch angle sensors, front and rear wheel speed sensors, gear position, and so on. For the system to work, it requires good sensors, stroke modulator, stroke computers combination, which won't be cheap, and that is why cornering ABS is still on the iron bikes for now. But I'm sure in a few years it will trickle down to the smallest, cheapest bikes. Anyway, that's it for this video. See you on the next one. Ciao.